Ah, oh, I've just been waiting around every single day trying to make a new video. Hey, do you have any new video ideas? Or any new kind of, like, intros that I can do? Well, I mean, that's... <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? I don't have anything left in my big brain. Oh! <laughs> oh, I hope you didn't see any of that, because that would be kind of awkward. I forgot to heal after the last episode, by the way. <laughs> um... I'm still absolutely terrified of basically healing up. Not healing, saving the game. Like, officially saving the game, saving the game. You know? It's really nothing major, but now that we have beaten the one and only Sabrina of Saffron City, we can now come here and do this. First things first, though, we need to talk to Grandpa. And he gives us HMO4 because we're probably going... Because the way the Calistrophic has basically made it is that we have to go through Seafoam Islands. Normally, I do Seafoam Islands, like, as a side project, you know? Like, when I need a particular Pokemon or... Literally, when I'm getting Articuno. That's the only reason why I go to Seafoam Islands. Normally, I just go down from Cinnabar and call it a day, but... Calistrophic said, no! You gotta suffer! So, we're going to have to leave a buddy behind. And, realistically, I really think that... <sighs> Garchomp's probably going to be it. Just hear me out. Garchomp's probably our strongest hitter, right? But, we're going to go to Seafoam Islands, where we're going to be surrounded by ice types. I think you know where I'm going with this. And I don't remember where the move... Um... <sighs> The move forgetter guy is. Oh my gosh, the move forgetter guy is literally right there. I'm I'm dumb, but there's no root move relearner. So yeah, I'm just gonna teach it to Blurp. Blurp, I love you, and it's nice to have you back on the team, even if for a short amount of time. I mean, look at his little derpy face. Look at him. He's just here for the ride, man. He's chilling. <clears throat> So yeah, we're going to go through Seafoam Islands today, and we're going to chill. Thanks, guy. Also, Shift Tree is probably going to be our homie for this entire journey, because literally everyone and, and everything is going to use... Actually, fun fact, Milotic is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon, like, ever. I don't know, I've always just liked the way that it looks. I think it's really pretty. Oh, Brion. Okay, Brion's pretty cute, too. I've actually just always liked the way that Milotic looks. And we're actually planning on adding Milotic to the game that we're doing, right? Oh, actually, I, I know that I keep talking about the game that I make, right? And it's probably, like, my only thing that I ever actually talk about because I don't know what else to talk about because because of our Voldemortcation, right? Because YouTube doesn't let me say the, the what everything actually is, right? Because of our Voldemortcation. I really don't have anything new to really talk about other than what we're working on in the game, right? Because I really feel like I want to be like, look at all these things I'm talking about, right? But I ain't got nothing to talk about. Like, you boys, I do the best that I can to be as interesting as possible. Well, not the best that I can, right? Like, I'm just myself, and I really feel like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. And lately, I really feel like it hasn't been working, which I find kind of frustrating, you know? Because I really want to be like... Alright, that Polyrath Sprite. I know that's supposed to be Mega Polyrath. That's actually really cool. I can't even deny that. Mega Polyrath, really cool. Good work, bro. Dragology, Poison Dragon. Or at least I think it's Poison Dragon. I accidentally did that. I meant to do that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing as of late. Is just working on the game. I've been really trying... But my motivation, at least for the most part, has been really lacking. Today I made actually, um, well not made per se, but I, um, I found, I, what I do is, right, I keep track of everything that I'm using that's not like our own personal creation so that I can keep credits as, you know, as credit as possible. Because my major concern is, okay, I really don't want to accidentally use something that somebody else I don't want to use something that somebody else created without giving them proper credit because I really feel just feel like that's a scumbag thing to do, right? There's always the whole, like, you miss it and, like, it's not intentional, right? 
But it's just something that legitimately bothers me, you know? Like, if I made an open source thing, like, for example, um, Unity, right? Unity basically programs, programs, basically has it so that if you make a game with Unity, the game says made with Unity Engine. And I really feel like that's all people should really do. Is that if you didn't make the engine yourself, you should give credit where credit is due. And it really isn't that hard for, like... It's not hard for me to wrap my head around, but it's really weird that some people just want to take credit for everything, you know? I'm not trying to make allegations, because I really have not seen a single person that has really... In the, at least in the Pokemon community, that has done that, you know? I, I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's actually, like, a thing that has actually happened, but... Nonetheless, I really am not part of really the community per se, right? I just play Pokemon for fun, and that's it. I just play it for fun. When I, I really just wanted to play Pokemon. Oh, Honchkrill, that's cool. Is Articuno there? Articuno is there! We'll catch you later. Because I really don't... I really feel like our team is pretty much it. Our team is pretty much as wonderful and as balanced as it's going to be. Because I don't think we have really anything else. Okay, Golem, cool. I will be looking out for any guy, any of your guys' recommendations, at least in terms of what Pokemon I should use, right, for the team. Because the team, I feel like, is pretty much done. Like, we do have a decent Ice Weakness. But we do have a few Pokemon that can handle it, right? So, like, M Mero, not Mero, but Akron, Burb, and Garchomp are all weak to Ice. And we really don't have anybody to handle that. Which I really feel is um going to be a problem in the future. <laughs> and that's not an understatement. We're going to have a legitimate problem and it's not going to be fun. If I remember correctly, you go like this, this. I already messed it up, but it's fine. Because I can, I can salvage this. Okay, so then I'm going to go like this. Poliwhirl, I get it. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And push that all the way and push that down. Okay. Then we're going to push this one to the left like so. Then like that. Bam! Biggly dang dong. I think it's on... I think it's really amazing how powerful the human brain is, okay? I have not played Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green... In years, okay? I have not touched this game. I maybe have played some ROM hacks of it. But not ones that enhance the Fire Red experience, right? But this game, I have imbued into my soul. I know that sounds really cringy, but <laughs> hear me out. I played... It was This is definitely like my first Pokemon game that I've ever played, right? I really made it a point to... Do my best to learn everything I could about Pokemon, right? When I was growing up, Pokemon was, like, my thing. Well, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, like, anime things. Like, you know, the, the children entry-level anime, right? So I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I watched Pokemon every day. I even... It even got to the point where I remember this. I remember this vividly. I was probably about... I don't remember my particular age. I do remember that I was a, that it was around the time when Diamond and Pearl literally just released. That episode with Dawn and Piplup. And that was why I really wanted to get Piplup. Because I think Do Diamond and Pearl was the first time, to my knowledge, right? You can correct me if I'm wrong. But Diamond and Pearl was the first time that I ever, like, experienced that the Pokemon anime was, um, ahead of the games. Because normally, it's, the game comes out then the anime does their thing, like, a few months later. Normally, right? I'm, I could be wrong, could be completely wrong, and I could be a filthy liar. Which is completely possible. Except I'm not, I don't like to lie, so... I don't know. Oh, really? You could have just skipped this entire... Okay. We're probably gonna keep these trainers for training later. <laughs> well, at least keep most of them for training later, because that's at least what I really want to do. Because I really feel like... It would be really useful just to have a little bit of talking time and just make sure that we're getting to where we need to be and at least get through the Pokemon Mansion and stuff because the little training buddy that Calistrophic sets you up with, I really like. I think he's a, I think he's a real home skiller biscuit and I like him a lot. Also, Mega Swampert. That's a really nice Mega Swampert sprite. It's actually really cool. 
Oh, additionally, Kelly Strophic, I taught, I sent a message to that Fakemon uh, creator that you sent me. They haven't gotten back to me yet. It's been about like three or four days. I really don't want to like get on their case, right? I offered them a position with us. I, I looked at their stuff because you recommended them to me, so I trusted your judgment, you know? And I really like their stuff. I really thought it was really nice. Okay, so Huntail's, um, water dark. Cool. I, re I looked at what, I looked at their stuff. I really liked what they had to offer, and I offered them a small commissions fee. I, I don't have a lot of money. It's, it's no secret. You homie ain't got no, not much money. I have talked about consistently about how, like, work has been terrible for me as of late, and me trying to, like, find myself is, is harder now that I don't have any way to earn any kind of money, because the whole Revature job ended up, like, blowing up in my face i had a real problem learning java and they were like i said can i get into another thing and nobody got back to me it was really weird i got another lucky egg heck yeah okay anyway now what was i speaking of yeah so it's hard it's it's really like a diggly dang basket time pokemon lag <laughs> Jirachi? Oh my gosh, yes. I don't know if I'll use it, but like, yes. I absolutely... Okay, so... Maybe I'm wrong in saying this, okay? Maybe I am wrong in saying this, but... The mythical Pokemon really get shafted in, the in the games. They really do. I'll grab the Jirachi, oh wait, duh, I'll grab the Jirachi, I'll put it in the, I'll take the egg, I'll put it in the PC, just in case, because I remember Kelly Strophic, you warned me specifically about the whole, the whole bad egg thing that could have, that could arise from spawning in items, so for now we're chilling, we're chilling, we ain't gonna do that, um, I don't wanna bother, yeah, Doors locked. Okay, so, like, I don't want to bother. Okay, so, that's cool. I'm gonna leave... So, basically, I'm going to make a save state. Okay, so, I'm going to remember that this one is Jirachi. I'm gonna remember that this one is Jirachi, by. What is a Pokemon egg doing in that? Dude, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put this egg right here. I'm going to name this box. Chirachi. I really don't know if I'm going to actually end up using Jirachi, but... I mean, like, who's going to say no to a Jirachi egg? And probably, I mean, he probably would not have left unless I took the egg anyway. So I'm probably going to catch... Not catch. I'm probably going to hatch one of these fossil Pokemon eggs... And call it, and really just call it a day. And then if they can hatch properly, then I'll hatch the Jirachi egg. But other than that, I think we're good. I'm really thinking about... I really think this team is the team that we're going to be rocking. I know that, that we have two ground types and two dark types. And three Pokemon weak to ice. And nothing to handle ice. I mean, Mero kind of handles ice, so... It's not a huge catastrophe, but... It's definitely going to be an issue coming up, I don't think. Well, with Lorelei, I think. Oh, jeez, we have nothing for Lorelei. Oh, jeez. That's going to be a problem. We can deal with that when the time comes. Anyway, for now, we're going to go to Pokemon Mansion, and I'm going to use my my power of memory. Oh, yeah, I don't need Shiftry in the front anymore. We're going to switch in... Marrow. I think we have to... Oh, Growlithe, cool. I think we have to do this one, I think. And then we go here, like so. Okay. Let's see here. I'm definitely keeping Marrow on the team. Like, that's not even a secret. Um. I'm literally extremely close to picking up... You know... I'm really close to picking up some gosh darn repels. Do I have any in here? Because I really don't need this right now. Every time I'm about to come up with something to say, right? 
a Pokemon shows up, and then I completely forget where my train of thought goes. I really feel like I have the attention span of a goldfish sometimes, and I really feel like my girlfriend can, can attest to that, because... I swear, I love you, sweetie. She watches my videos, so I, I'm really talking specifically to her. Um, you can pretend that you're my girlfriend, I guess. Please don't actually do that. That's a joke. I'm joking. Please don't actually take that seriously. Um... Yeah, I'm going to save all those trainers so that we can actually battle them later. Because I really feel like that would probably be smartest, right? Probably. Heatran, cool. Magmar, cool. Marrow, come on. Come on, Marrow. There we go. Marrow's probably the strongest Pokemon on my team. In terms of... Well, I think it's only the strongest because of the... Um... The heck in Wajima calls it. The thick, thick Club. Also, Life Watcher. Oh my gosh. I know you watch my videos and I know you get, like, busy and sometimes you just don't. And, like, really, I don't blame you. I wouldn't watch my videos all the time if I were me either. Like, who can really handle my voice? Other than my significant other. Love her to death. Really, she's insane. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, babe. Love you still. Um, but anyway. I, I checked out your videos. I liked it. I really was expecting to hear your voice, though. I was really expecting, like, some riveting commentary. But it's, it's done on, it looks like it's done on your phone, which I don't really don't think that those screen recording softwares don't, I don't think they let you record audio that's your own, right? I don't think, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy in that department, I'm not sure. Either way, I liked what you did, is all I was trying to say. I just expected something a little bit different, which really isn't that big of a deal for me. You know, homie, I don't really care. YouTube is a form of expression, right? At least I at least I think it's a form of expression. I always forget which side I'm supposed to go off of. Every single gosh darn time I forget. And it's really just a t that, that kind of time. But yeah. I already forgot where I was going. I already forgot. Okay. Anyway, this one. Please be right. Please be right. It wasn't right. Was that even the right side? It wasn't the right side. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to go down those stairs. Okay, we're going to switch Marrow with Burb. And we're just going to literally finish up this castle and we're going to call it an episode. Because then I'm going to have to do off-screen training. And really, like... I've been thinking, okay. Now... I've been thinking about streaming my grinding sessions, right? I mean, I know we're close to the end of the game. So, I mean, there's really no huge point in grinding because we're only going to have to grind, I think, two times. For this gym and then the next gym. And then for Victory Road, if I'm not mistaken, um, Calistrophic, you have it so that we can buy rare candies for, like, dummy cheap. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy them rare candies for dummy cheap, and you can't stop me. <laughs> or at least I think that's how that works, at least in the light version. I'm not 100% sure. Otherwise, we're going to have to do four grinding sessions, and that's going to make me cry. Not four grinding sessions, three grinding sessions. And at least at that point, I really don't know. I'm, I'm thinking seriously about what my... I like my team. I think that literally who we have is probably the best that we're going to get. And I mean, it's not even like we have a bad team. I think our team's pretty good. It's just about having the items and setting up properly and do, I really don't want to do research. I've really enjoyed the game and I really don't, I don't like the idea of doing research, right? I, I did my senior thesis paper. I did like 10 pages of research. Like I under like I know the, the pain of researching, but it's like, I don't know. I I don't want another version of what happened in Sabrina's gym to happen again. But at the same time, I really just... I want to... Why does he have Rock Blast? Whatever. I just don't want to... Because if I go in with, like, a game plan, I really feel like the whole, like, cha a lot of... Not a lot of, but part of the challenge of the game is taken out, right? Um, I don't think I'm the only one that feels this way about, like, most things, right? Now, if you guys want me to do research and come in more readily prepared for these gym f battles, I mean, sure, I'll do it, but I really feel like it would make more sense to just 
not. Just because, like, I thought people liked it when I, like, got angry and stuff. So what's the point of really, like, doing all that research and trying to avoid it, you know? At least that's me. I'm not sure. And then we do this. And I need you. And I miss you. Every time I hear that song, I always think of Shaq. Because he did he did a he did the little dance song and dance thing for White Chicks, I think. Is that the movie? I don't remember. I don't gosh darn remember. Why is my memory so bad? Probably because I'm in a constant... I talked to my therapist. She talked about how basically everyone in America right now is being stuck in a constant cycle. And to try and break that cycle would really be helpful. And, you know, I agree. I really think that being stuck in this cycle probably has not helped my depressive spells at all. And I don't think it would help anybody's depressive spells at all. So we're trying to break it little by little. I've tried to pick up working up and doing calisthenics more often. I used to do them a lot. I think I've mentioned that in, like, previous videos. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so that's what I've been trying to do. I, it's easier for me now since I did one set last time, but I still need to get better into it and things like that, so who knows. Anyway, we got the secret key, so we still gotta do a lot of training before we can even face this gym. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and the next time we're gonna face that gosh darn gym. Um... Yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.